here we go again. So we're gonna jump right into this video by opening the garage door as I always do. Is that getting old by the way? I mean, that's just how I start my day, pretty much every day, when I start filming. So we got a very dirty C63 here. But now, looky here. Latest mod for the AMG, KW lowering springs. <laughs> This is gonna be awesome. Now, first though, I'm gonna back the car out. Hope you guys aren't sick of cold starts. Okay, so here's the deal. I was planning on putting the lowering springs on before I get my wheels, but I don't know why I walked in here. The current setup or the stock setup on the C63 is a staggered look. So we have 19 inch wheels up front, 20 inch wheels in the rear. I think they're 10 wide and nine and a half wide up front. So what I will be getting is 10 inch wide front wheels 11 inch in the rear so the rear is going to have either 295 25 tires or 305 25 i haven't really decided on that yet the fronts are going to be 265 30 20. they currently have 255 35 and 19. so the diameter of the whole setup is obviously different because it's staggered and now we're going to have 20s all around with wider wheels which is why we decided that we're going to wait till the wheels arrive and then we're going to lower the car and put the wheels on at the same time just to make sure that i really like the way it looks because if we lower it now with the stock wheel setup being a staggered look it's kind of a little bit like this instead of being leveled we might have to redo the lowering of the car and so on once we put the new wheels on so we're just going to wait and do everything at the same time what we do have here is kw Haas lowering springs with sleeves. Now the reason I'm not going with full coilovers is because the car has adaptive suspension. I want to still be able to put it in Comfort Sport, Sport Plus, and all the different suspension settings. Now as I said, we're still waiting for the wheels, so I don't know exactly when this is going to happen. Hopefully, I ordered them December 2nd, I think it was, and it's about four to six weeks for the wheels to get here. So I'm hoping that it comes before my LA trip. But we have a couple things on the agenda today. I gotta go send Nicholas, his GoPro Hero 5, the one that he won in the latest giveaway. So let's jump back in the Beast and take care of that real quick. But we gotta get the Beast washed off, man. We got a touchless car wash here. Let's get it cleaned up. Your credit card information has been received. Please, make a, please wait while your transaction is processed. Okay. okay. So there we go. The times that I don't want to wash it myself, I run it through this touchless car wash here. And she does look so much better. It's funny with all the weird looks I get as well, putting a camera and a tripod in front of a big uh, car wash. People wonder what the hell I'm doing, but the things YouTubers do for content. She's already dirty again. All right, so we got that done. Since Nicholas lives in Canada, that was a whole lot more complicated than um, I had anticipated. 
the previous giveaway winners, they've been from the US, but there's a lot of custom stuff and all that to go through. But nevertheless, hope you enjoy it, Nicholas. Put it to good use. All right, so I think we have a quick minute left over for some mail time. This letter here is from Andrew Campbell in Illinois. Oh, another Christmas card. Very nice. At the infamous Andrew. Dude, I think this is the third thing you've sent me. Thank you so much, man. A warm holiday wish for peace, cheer, and happiness, and all the best for the coming new year. Merry Christmas plus New Year, Andrew Campbell. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Everyone, check out the infamous Andrew on Instagram. And this is from, I can't tell because, I'm going to cross out your address here something in the corner of the letter there so I couldn't see a name but I'm sure it's inside I love your Mercedes AMG C63 also your car review sincerely Haven Reese thank you so much Haven really appreciate it Merry Christmas to you as well and then for the last one here we're gonna do it real quick this is from Sid mountaintop PA a very special wish at Christmas time thank you so much Open this. oh look at that <laughs> <laughs> this is cool. We're getting Christmas cards and stuff. And then we have a little letter here. Hey, Autoblog. My name is Sid. I really like watching your videos. I always wait for the notification of a new video. I've been subscribed to your channel for almost two years now. Here is a greeting card for Christmas from my side, I think it says. I hope you like it. P.S. Just to let you know, I'm from India, but right now I'm in Mountaintop, PA, and I will be celebrating Christmas here. Thanks. Regards, Sid. Thank you so much, Sid, and Merry Christmas to you as well. I really appreciate the card. This was kind of pimped out here. Thank you so much. All right, so we're back at the garage here. And regarding the lowering springs, I'm getting them from a company called Velos Design Works. They're not the ones who make them, of course, but they, I bought them off of them. And that's also the company I'm getting my wheels from. So I'm not gonna tell you guys exactly what wheels they are, because I want it to be a nice surprise whenever they're on there and the car is lowered and everything, it's gonna look absolutely amazing. But if you want to, go to velosdesignworks.com and try to figure out what wheels I'm getting. You can go to their gallery where they have a bunch of C63s pictured and try to figure that out. Leave a comment in the comment section below of what wheels you think I'm getting. And if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I posted today that I was going to have a in today's video. So that's what we're going to do right now. I'm going to go to the top of the messages here. All right, so VS1517S, what are your plans for the beast in 2018? Well, 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 oh. <laughs> I have the lowering springs as we've talked about today. I have the wheels coming. And then later on in the year, obviously I'm gonna focus more on the performance upgrades of the car. Infinity Racer 333 asks, are you going to wrap your Mercedes? Well, I've always jokingly said that, you know, once you go black, you don't need a wrap because I love this color so much. Um, so at the moment, I'm not planning on it, but you never know what's gonna happen in the future. And Jacob asks, what do you think about the AMG 45 models? I actually drove one around a time trial track when I was in Austin for the AMG Driving Academy, and it's a really fun car. I, I, I like that car. Uh, it's actually, I don't know if it is currently, but it was just a year or two ago, uh, the most powerful engine in the world that it's four-cylinder and turbocharged. So, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's an awesome car. And then Ole Kishan asks, what do you think about electric cars like Tesla and Rimac? Um, I, I get this question a lot. I don't know why, but I get it a lot. And I, I love Tesla. The Rimac is awesome. Obviously, I've never seen a Rimac uh, in person. But, you know, I mean, with the download torque that they have, all torque right away is, I mean, of course. <laughs> I mean, how can you hate on that? It's, it's a very powerful drivetrain, but, you know, I, I like a combustion engine that makes noise. Newt Media asks, would you ever consider getting an exhaust for the beast? Uh, yes, I would. Uh, living in my state, it's hard because we have such strict emission laws. So if you do down pipes, delete the cats and all that stuff, you don't pass inspection. So, you know, that that's something to think about and definitely I want to do it. But like I've said before, I'm not in a hurry with this car. 
stuff are going to happen, but they're not going to happen like right away. I don't have to get all this stuff done, you know, within the first three months that I own the car. Now, Invincible asks, would you ever consider buying or trading for an older Black Series AMG? Now, I love the Black Series AMGs, the SLSs, the C63, and you know, all of them. But I mean, would I trade this for one of those? No, I wouldn't trade it. But you know, if money wasn't a factor, I would have one. I would love to have a 507 edition of the C63 or an SLS, you know, whatever. <laughs> and then again, I get a lot of questions about engine mods. So Crazy ATV Rider asked, what engine mods are you going to do to the beast? You know, I'm going to start with a tune, of course. I mean, I'm not going to slap on new turbos and go, you know, buck wild right off the bat. Um, you know, this car has a lot of power. I know it's not the most powerful car in the world, but it has a lot of power and a lot of torque. It's got 516 pound-feet of torque. Um, and like I, I find myself shredding tires non-stop in this car on stock power so you know along with the power there's a, other mods that come with that you need the proper tires and everything I mean why do I need all the extra power if I'm not getting the traction you know what I'm saying so again stuff are gonna happen it's just not happening right away Elior's 550 asks will you get an E63 in the future I don't have any plans to doing that but Never say never. And then Ole Keyshawn asks, are you going to make an official Autovlog website where we can buy merch? Yes, that's coming as well. What's your favorite thing to do on your free time? Asks Neil Williams 69. Well, nowadays, all I pretty much do is work, hang out with my family. Um, I mean, I have friends. <laughs> I just never meet them. Um, I, I don't really have a lot of time to do anything else. I work out whenever I can. Um, that's one thing that I've been extremely lazy with lately, and I need to start doing again. So a few years back, I would say, you know, working out, working out. But I haven't really been doing that a lot lately, so I can't really say that. If you didn't have the Beast, what vehicle would be in its place? I get a lot of the same questions, and this is one of them. Uh, it's a good question. Um, I, I don't really know, to be honest with you. I love this car, and I know a lot of people find that very repetitive. I talk about how much I love this car, but I, I find it perfect. So if this car wasn't around, then I, I don't really know, to be honest with you. In the price range, you would say. I mean, if we... UPS truck. I mean, if money's not a factor, I have a whole bunch of different options. I would love to have a Ferrari F12. If I can't afford that, I would love to have a Ferrari 458. You know, a Performante, all kinds of supercars, a, a, a GT3 RS. The day I have enough money to buy a GT3 RS, I'm buying it. That is one amazing car. Avni Jordan asks, do you like to shoot firearms? If not, you should give it a try. I love to shoot firearms. I just don't do it very often. Um, but yes, I love to shoot guns. Might get demonetized now, talking about guns. Would you consider a Kia Stinger as your next sedan option, says murdered underscore BMW yeah the Kia is pretty cool I would say it's it's pretty good you know what I haven't looked into it enough to know what kind of price range it's in you know if Kia is trying to you know charge 50 grand and stuff for that you know, forget it I'm not paying 50 grand for a Kia 7A Moody 1985 asks how much did a car overall with mods cost you probably around 95 grand you thought about getting a AMG Mercedes GTR uh, no, not really, to be honest with you. I love that car, but that's not something that I've been thinking like I have to have the GTR. I know they're hard to come by as well. So, no, is the answer to that question. Do you lease all your cars, says I am Cameron Putty? No, I don't. Well, two of my cars are leased. This one is financed. Ali1002JJ asks, what do you think about the Asian cars? Well, there, there's a lot of cars from Asia. Well, there's a lot of cars from Asia. Um, I mean, there's Japanese cars, Korean cars, and so on. I mean, Japanese make a lot of cool cars, like the Nissan GTR and so on. Um, I'm not a huge JDM fan, um, but that doesn't mean that they don't make good cars. I just am not that interested in them. Sopun Sen V asked, would you consider doing what happens if videos in your C63? Uh, not at the moment, but you never know. Uh, <laughs> I changed my mind regarding all that kind of stuff a lot, so uh, you never know. P Biggs 67 asks, what polish do you use on the AMG? Well, my car care products are Adams polishes. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, 
Got a whole row of stuff here. So that's what I use. Getting several questions about having a official autovlog website but for merch and stuff like that. Um, so yes, I mean, I answered this already, but that's going to happen. Until then, I am currently selling t-shirts and hoodies. Another bus on teespring.com slash black series. So if you want a t-shirt, hoodie, uh, coffee cup, you can pick it up there. And then panda underscore the underscore jeep asks, would you ever get an old beater to do what happens if videos in? And the answer to that is yes. Might happen sooner than you think. All right, we're gonna do one more question here. Nathan Ryan 2002 asks, why will you be going to LA? Well, I'm going there because it's a lot of fun and we're gonna film content with uh, Doc M3 Automotive and so on. We're probably gonna meet up with some other YouTubers as well. Um, this is sort of what I do. I mean, I, I love to travel, uh, bring you guys along, see other scenery, other cars and so on. You know, it gets a little boring just being around Pittsburgh in the long run. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. And if you're stopping by this channel for the first time and you haven't already, please subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.